access to Linux file system or Linux itself as a system. Now Linux, um, you could access any Linux system or Unix system through uh, a terminal if you have a terminal like TerraTerm. So let's look at a few examples of operating systems. Each operating system has a different protocol or client that is used to access the system. For example, Windows. If you wanted to connect a Windows machine from another Windows machine, you would need a remote desktop client, which is also referred as RDP client. You put in the IP address of the of machine that you want to connect to, then it's going to ask you for username and password, and the next thing you know, you, will, you are connected remotely to another Windows machine. So the client that is used is called RDP. Next one we have is the VMware ESXi servers. Now the VMware is a virtualized environment. How do we connect to it? Well, they have their vSphere client. Well, vSphere client is another client that is installed on your computer. You open up, you input the IP address, you put a username and password, and that's where you have, that's where you connect to the VMware environment. And the last one, the, the one that we really wanted to know, that is Linux. And how do we connect to our Linux machines? You need to have a PuTTY, which is a PuTTY terminal, a secure CRT terminal, or any of those terminals, whether it's free or whether you have to pay for it. You have to use that. Again, for that, you have to put in the username, the password, and the IP address. SSH from Linux to Linux is also possible. What that means is if you are already in a Linux or Unix machine, you could just use SSH protocol or, or SSH command followed by the IP address of your remote Linux machine and you could connect to it. So again, um, I'm going to show you real quick all those um, three clients. The first one is the remote desktop client. This, the, this is the client that looks like uh, in your Windows machine. You could go to start and search and just type remote desktop. It will come up and that's where you put in the computer IP followed by the username and password. For vSphere, uh, to connect to the vCenter or ESXi server, here's the VMware vSphere client. And for Linux, we have this PuTTY client where you put in the IP address um, on top uh, you see the port is 22 which is the port for SSH and then once you connect to it it will prompt you for username and password 